Samayel Ansari to talk about refugee empowerment. Assalamualaikum everyone. Um, my name is Samayel Ansari and I'm a senior at UNC Chapel Hill. Um, I started working with refugees last spring through um, our MSA and I'm been very blessed to have that opportunity. Um, and through this past year, I've been really blessed to be able to form a very nice and close bond with the family that I work and have watched them grow over the year that I've spent with them tutoring. Um, the experiences I've had working with my family has been life-changing for me and an absolute blessing. And it has been a huge challenge as well too. And it's so hard to express like the amount of impact they've had on my life. And, um, and but I'll try to put that into words for just a couple minutes. Um, so I work with a family in Durham who has about six or eight girls and two boys. Um, but I focus primarily on working with the middle and high schoolers with their school work after. Um, so we go during the evening after the school day and we try to tackle the homework that they've been assigned. Um, so when I started tutoring last spring, the whole family knew almost no English. But uh, today, uh, it's been amazing because I, when I go and volunteer with them, I rarely have to use Arabic anymore to talk. Uh, the growth that they've experienced has been amazing, especially with the younger kids. It's really true that kids, the younger they are, they are able to absorb the language very easily. Um, and those in high school and above have been learning a lot as well. There's been um, a lot more challenges because of the fact that it takes time. But um, uh, definitely, they're, um, over time, they will be able to, through the help of like the community centers that are around them, as well as our volunteering efforts, they're continuing to learn the vocabulary and as well as be a, a place that we can help them practice their conversational skills. And um, what's so inspiring is the fact they continue to put an effort to learn and, be, and being a part of that process is so rewarding. And it comes out we've been blessed to have the support of the Sakat Foundation, who have been invaluable in supporting our work. Um, through them, we've been able to organize events that bring the community together. Um, we've had successful field and picnic days, which were great opportunities for students and community members to go outside and have fun and connect with the families in a new and happy and social setting, one that's not focused on academics or any sort of like stressful conversations. It's a really fun environment and, and um, I highly recommend anyone who can come out, definitely to come out and um, have fun. Um, DF has also been instrument, instrumental in providing us with supplies to improve what volunteers are able to do in the two hours that we spend with the families. Um, recently, we were provided with workbooks to help refugee students with improving math, reading, and writing skills. And those are all extremely important skills, as we know, like in our daily lives, as well as in our schooling. Um, and so as we continue to incorporate them into our tutoring, and Charlotte will be contributing to developing those skills. And I'm certain that the MSA and all our volunteers are very grateful for the support being provided, and we definitely look forward to continuing the collaboration.